Did you know that there are 13 different types of breast cancer? Many people think breast cancer is just one disease, but if you've had it, like me, you'll know it's a little bit more complicated. Today, I'm going to go through all the different types of breast cancer. And I'm going to explain the different ways we classify them and help you understand why we do it. I'm Dr. Liz Reardon. Welcome to my channel. I'm a breast surgeon who's had breast cancer and I do the research so you don't have to. Let's start with the basics. What is breast cancer? Well, in a nutshell, it's a cancer that develops in breast tissue. It happens when the DNA inside breast cells develops a series of mutations. If they happen in the right order and the cell escapes the normal checkpoints, it can divide and grow to form a cluster of cells or a cancer that can eventually spread around the body. Anyone with breast tissue can get breast cancer. It is much more common in biological women than men, but men do still get it. An average woman has a 13% chance of getting breast cancer in her lifetime. The longer she lives, the higher the chance. But remember that although one in eight women will get breast cancer, seven out of eight women won't. So what are the different types of breast cancer? Your breasts are made up of several different types of cells and the type of breast cancer you have depends on which cell the cancer came from. So let's run through all the different types. Invasive ductal cancer. Now 80% of breast cancers come from the cells in the breast ducts. These are the tubes that carry milk to the nipple. It's also called breast cancer of no special type or not otherwise specified. And that's because the cells don't have any distinct features when they're looked at under the microscope. DCIS or ductal carcinoma in situ is the earliest form of invasive ductal cancer. DCI cells haven't mutated enough to be able to move around the body. That's what the in situ bit means. The cells cannot spread to your lymph nodes. Now you can watch my video talking about DCIS here. Invasive lobular cancer. This is 10% of all breast cancers and these come from the cells in the lobules of the breast that produce milk. Lobular cancers can look different on a mammogram because they tend to grow in sheets instead of clumps and can be harder to feel. And I'll be doing a video all about lobular cancer next month. LCIS, or lobular carcinoma in situ, isn't actually a cancer, but if it, does, if it is found, for example, after a breast biopsy, it means you have a much higher chance of getting breast cancer than someone without it. And you can find out more in this video. Inflammatory breast cancer forms in the lymph vessels in the breast skin. It blocks the vessels, which makes the breast become red, swollen and hot to touch. It can be hard to diagnose as it looks like mastitis, an infection of the breast that's common during pregnancy and breastfeeding. It is always treated with chemotherapy first, followed by a mastectomy. Mixed breast carcinoma. This just means that your breast has two or more different types of cells. The commonest mix is ductal and lobular cancer, which is what I had but it could be a mix of ductal cancer and any of the other special types I'm about to mention. The next six cancers are rare. They are special types of ductal cancer and account for about one to 3% of all breast cancers. They are treated in the same way. The dullary carcinoma. This has a well-defined border and often contains white blood cells. It's slow growing and rarely spreads to the lymph nodes. And it's called medullary because the tumor looks like the medulla in the brain. Mucinous carcinoma comes from breast cells that can make mucus and the mucus surrounds the cancer. They tend to be slow growing and less aggressive and have a good prognosis. Tubular carcinoma. These cancer cells resemble small tubes under the microscope. It's slow growing and it has a good prognosis. Cribriform cancer has lots of small holes between the cells under the microscope, which is where the name cribriform came from. Again, it's slow growing and has a good prognosis. Papillary cancer, when looked at under the microscope, had lots of finger-like projections called papules, and that's where the name papillary came from. Metaplastic cancer is made up of several different cell types. It is aggressive and has a high risk of recurrence after treatment. Very little is known about it because it is so rare. Paget's disease of the nipple is another rare breast cancer that starts in the nipple and areola. It looks like a red itchy rash that can bleed and it can form an ulcer that can eventually destroy the nipple. Phylloides tumours are very rare cancers that come from the connective tissue of the breast between the ducts and the lobules. Only one in four phylloides tumours are cancerous and they are treated with surgery and sometimes radiotherapy. Angiosarcoma is a cancer that comes from the cells in the blood and lymphatic vessels of the breast, and this is a rare late side effect of radiotherapy. 
It usually develops in older women several years after treatment for an earlier breast cancer. They grow quickly and are difficult to treat. So how do we describe breast cancer? When people talk about it, you might hear terms like stage, grade or receptors used. I'm going to talk you through the five different ways doctors describe breast cancer and why they're important. The first method is invasive or non-invasive. And this is to say whether your cancer has the ability to spread to your lymph nodes and then move around the body or not. And when the pathologist looks at it under the microscope, they can tell whether those cells have the ability to spread or not. This helps guide your team when it comes to deciding what further treatment you might need. Grade. This is how your pathologist describes how abnormal your cancer cells are when compared to healthy breast cells. Grade one is the lowest and grade three is the highest. Stage. This is a scoring system that your medical team use to help them work out your prognosis and what treatment you should have. Stages one to three mean breast cancer that is confined to the breast and lymph nodes in the armpit. And there are several different systems used depending on the country you are being treated in. They all take into, into account your tumour grade, size and the number of involved lymph nodes. In the UK, we use the TNM system. In the US, stages one to four are used with each stage having subsections and the tumour receptors are taken into account. Like grade, stage one is the lowest and stage three is the highest. The higher the stage, the higher the risk of recurrence in the future, which means you're more likely to get treatments such as chemotherapy and targeted therapy to try and stop this happening. There are other tests like Oncotype and Mammoprint that your team may use to give them more information when deciding whether to offer you chemotherapy. And I'll do a video discussing those tests in more detail in the next couple of weeks. Stage four refers to cancer that has spread beyond the breast, for example, to the liver or the lungs. Hormone receptors. Every breast cancer is tested for three receptors on the surface of the cells, estrogen, progesterone, and HER2. Your cancer could be any combination of the three, triple positive, triple negative, ER positive, HER2 negative, or ER negative and HER2 positive. Finally, there are biological subtypes. Scientists have discovered that breast cancers behave differently according to their receptor type. Now, at the moment, this has no effect on the treatment you will receive, but it helps them guide research for the future, such as molecular profiling. And there are five different subtypes, luminal A, luminal B, HER2 positive, normal-like, and triple negative breast cancer. If you'd like to know more about this, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video on it for you. If you've got any further questions about breast cancer type, grade or stage, just let me know and I'll look into it for you. I'm Dr. Liz Reardon. Thanks for watching my channel.